The human brain, the epicenter of our thoughts, emotions, and very consciousness, is an intricate and fascinating organ. Yet, there's a long-standing myth that we only use 10% of our brain's capacity. Imagine that. Just 10%. Now picture this. What if we could tap into the remaining 90%? What extraordinary abilities might we discover? Would we unlock the secrets of telekinesis or telepathy? Could we master complex equations in the blink of an eye? Or perhaps even manipulate the fabric of reality itself? The possibilities seem limitless and they've been the subject of countless science fiction tales and speculative theories. But before we get carried away with these captivating ideas, let's take a step back. What does it mean to use a certain percentage of our brain? Well, it's not as straightforward as it might seem. Our brains are constantly active even when we're sleeping. Every thought, every heartbeat, every breath we take is coordinated by different parts of our brain, so in reality we're using much more than just 10%. The idea that we use only a fraction of our brain is a misunderstanding. However, this doesn't mean that our brains aren't capable of more. There's still so much we don't understand about this complex organ and its potential. Could there be dormant parts of our brain that once awakened could grant us extraordinary abilities? Or does using 100% of our brain simply mean maximizing our cognitive abilities like memory, focus, and creativity? These questions, though intriguing, are just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole world of mind-boggling mysteries nestled within our skulls waiting to be explored. So let's dive deeper into the world of the human mind and explore what could happen if we could harness our brain's full capacity. Imagine this. One day you wake up and discover you can use 100% of your brain capacity. Let's delve into this world together, where the hypothetical becomes our reality, where we're no longer bound by the 10% brain power myth and we're functioning at full cognitive throttle. Picture yourself in the shoes of someone who suddenly has access to every nook and cranny of their brain's potential. In the initial moments, you'd likely be overwhelmed. You start to notice things you've never noticed before. The world around you comes alive in high definition as your senses become razor sharp. The humming of electricity in the walls, the distant chirping of birds, the subtle changes in light as the sun moves across the sky, all these become as clear as day. But this isn't just about sensory enhancement. Imagine your memory evolving into an impeccably organized library, where every memory, every piece of information is cataloged and accessible at a moment's notice. You recall names, dates, facts, figures, and even the most fleeting thoughts with ease. The speed at which you learn and absorb new information is staggering. Languages, complex equations, musical instruments, you master them as quickly as you encounter them. Now, let's push the boundaries a little further. What if this unlocked potential grants you access to new cognitive abilities? Could you manipulate your perception of time, making minutes feel like hours? Would you be able to tap into the unconscious mind, controlling your dreams, or even harnessing the power of intuition at will? This is a tantalizing glimpse into the life of a person operating at 100% brain capacity. A life where limitations are a thing of the past and the world becomes a playground of endless opportunities. But what could be the long-term implications of this sudden surge in brain power? While the prospect of using 100% of our brain power sounds enticing, it may not be all sunshine and rainbows. First, let's consider the energy and nutrient demands of the brain. Even at its current capacity, the brain is a notorious energy hog, consuming about 20% of the body's total energy. If we were to boost its usage to 100%, the energy requirement would be astronomical. Our bodies would need to take in and process a significantly higher amount of nutrients just to keep up. The strain on our metabolic systems could be immense, potentially leading to a host of health complications. Next, let's delve into the mental health aspect. While it's tempting to think that using our full brain power would simply make us smarter, it may also make us more susceptible to mental health disorders. Imagine having your thoughts, your anxieties, your fears all amplified tenfold. The human mind is a delicate balance of emotions and cognition. Disrupting this balance could lead to unforeseen repercussions. Lastly, there's the potential for cognitive overload. In a world that's already full of stimuli, our brains do a remarkable job of filtering out unnecessary information. If we were using our brains at full capacity, that filter might be overwhelmed. We could end up perceiving every detail, every sound, every scent, every light, all at once. It's like trying to drink from a fire hose. The sheer volume of information could be too much to handle. While the idea of tapping into our full brain power is certainly intriguing, it's not without its potential pitfalls. 
we need to remember that our brains, like the rest of our bodies, have evolved over millions of years for a reason. They are fine-tuned machines, expertly balancing efficiency and power. So as we can see, unlocking the full potential of our brain may be a double-edged sword. But how close are we really to unlocking 100% of our brain power? This is a question that continues to tantalize the curious and the imaginative. Let's delve a bit deeper into our current understanding of brain function and capacity. For a long time, a popular myth has persisted that we only use 10% of our brains. This claim, however, is not rooted in scientific fact. Current neuroscience tells us that over the course of a day, we use virtually every part of our brains. Our brains are a complex network of around 100 billion neurons, each making about 1,000 connections. These connections are in a constant state of flux, working and reworking as we learn, experience, and adapt. What's interesting is that we don't have a definitive measure of our brain's capacity. The brain is not like a computer hard drive where we can quantify the amount of storage left. Rather, our brain's capacity is dynamic, changing based on a multitude of factors like our health, stress levels, and even the time of day. Now let's talk about the future. Neuroscience is a rapidly evolving field. Every day we are making strides in understanding the complexities of the human brain. From research into neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, to the development of brain-computer interfaces that could potentially enhance our cognitive abilities. The possibilities are vast and exciting. It's also worth noting that the concept of brain power isn't just about intelligence or mental prowess. It's about emotional intelligence, creativity, empathy, resilience, and the ability to adapt and learn. These are all aspects of our brain's capabilities that we can nurture and develop. So while we may not be able to use 100% of our brain power yet, who knows what the future holds? As we continue to delve deeper into the mysteries of the human brain, we may find that our potential is far greater than we ever imagined. In the end, the human brain remains one of the most complex and fascinating structures in the universe. We've traversed the mysterious corridors of brain power, pondered the captivating scenario of utilizing our brain's full capacity, and even dared to peek into its potentially dark side. We've also touched upon the reality of our brain power, debunking myths and unveiling truths. The adventure doesn't stop here though. The beauty of our brains lies not in the percentage we use, but in the balance we strike between our cognitive abilities and our understanding of them. Our brains, with their intricate networks of neurons and synapses, hold immense potential. Yet, this potential is not about reaching a fictional 100%, but about understanding and harnessing our existing capabilities. Whether we use 10% or 100% of our brain power,